Hurricane Harvey survivors reveal secret thing Trump did for them. Liberal media goes silent. President Trump visited Texas twice to help and console the survivors of Hurricane Harvey's treacherous downpour and flooding. The liberal media has been rather silent after some survivors reveal what Trump did. When people met Trump and took selfies with him, they couldn't help but react positively to how nice Trump was. Where was the evil white supremacist that liberals and mainstream media constantly pushed in their agenda? Where was the horrible person who was racist and sexist? He was right there with the victims of Harvey, showing people the true person he is, and not one person reacted negatively nor called him any of the horrible things liberals painted him as. President Trump was busy handing things out and greeting people. He took selfies with anyone who wanted one including black families who were so happy to see him. Again, where is the racist Trump that liberals keep talking about? There wasn't an ounce of racism in Trump during his visits to Texas. Trump took pictures with women and there's no sexual crimes reported. But I thought liberals painted Trump as a sexist who does things to women. Where was that Trump? That Trump was nowhere because the liberal version of Trump that paints him as a racist and sexist does not exist. Some people, who weren't very sure of Trump before Hurricane Harvey, had a much different opinion of him after they finally met him in person. They realized what he was truly like, which is nothing like what the liberal media spent so long talking about in their completely false narrative about the president. At one point a reporter stoops to an all-time low and asks a girl if she forgets what Trump said about Mexicans, which then made the girl cry. The fact that he left out was that anything Trump says about Mexicans is about illegal immigrants breaking laws and perhaps some sarcastic words for the MS-13 gang. The reporter asked one little girl if she had forgotten what he said about Mexicans. Of course, that upset her and made her cry as she said no. She wouldn't forget and she was mad at him. What kind of person does that during a time of natural disaster and tragedy? That's completely irresponsible, irrelevant, and borderline inhumane. There are so many reporters in Texas who are in the way and insulting to the people who've lost everything. If they're not helping anyone, then they should back off or leave completely. How does someone sleep at night knowing they made a little girl cry for no reason? Here's President Trump carrying supplies for people in Texas. Check out what people say about him. Some critics still complained and said things such as well I don't see Trump walking in the water and rescuing people and they are the same people sitting home being keyboard warriors thinking their opinion matters. Their opinion does not matter. The president is 71 years old, made two trips to Texas, and there he is keeping a fast pace helping people. You're not going to see Trump walking chest deep in flood waters at his age. There's special teams and the Cajun Navy out there rescuing people. The fact that anyone complained about anything means the person complaining simply has to be miserable in their life. How can anyone complain about this? First Lady, Melania Trump, was criticized before she landed in Texas. People saw a picture of her wearing heels and complained. You know because it's not possible to ever change shoes on a plane or when she arrives, which is what happened. Her shoes were clearly changed when it was time to get to work. Then people complained about Melania wearing a Flotus hat. People said she shouldn't have to wear a hat to let everyone know who she is. I guess with that logic that players on sports teams shouldn't wear jerseys with any names or numbers either. Flotus Trump doesn't wear the hat so people know who she is. Everyone knows who she is. She's probably wearing it as a reminder that she's the boss lady in the house and this is her proverbial stiletto in the throat of liberals, a subtle reminder that her and Donald won the presidency. If there's one thing we witnessed, it's that no matter what Donald and Melania do, there will always be someone complaining. Whatever they do won't ever be enough for the miserable people of the world. If Trump donated $1 million to a Harvey Relief Fund, then miserable people would say why not $1.10 million while they sit home and do absolutely nothing. What's funny is that the people who criticize the Trump family for anything they do are often the people who do nothing at all. Trump is making his second trip to Texas, meeting with people, and showing his support while some miserable people sit home and complain.
Who is the real problem? The leftist media probably tried to keep this story on the lowdown because they wouldn't want everyone to know how great Trump has been during Hurricane Harvey. Let's share this 100,000 times and get the word out to all Americans keeping an eye on Texas. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook and liking it and follow up and thank you for watching.